All right, so I'm going to keep this short and sweet. In Tower of God, I got upset because they switched the Black March. They changed it for something new. In Cod of High School, they also pissed me off because they took out a piece of the comic, a scene, where Mira fights Il Puyo. And it's a great character moment for her, but that's not what bothers me the most. What bothers me the most is that in that fight, her sword transforms into a new one, and it's a really great looking sword, and they didn't do it, so nobody got to see it. So once again, in my nerd rage, I have decided to make the blade that never was, the one that nobody saw in the anime, if they're only anime watchers. So for those who read the manhwa, here you go. Here's the sword that they should have done, and I hope you enjoy. Here we are drawing out the form of the weapons we wanted to do on a silicone sheet, because the resin doesn't stick to silicone. And here are the weapon drawings. And then we take... Uh, silicone caulking and draw it out so we have a perfect form of the shape of the weapon hopefully to make a perfect mold. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So the two main issues is what we got here is that one, the bottom of the weapon was not flat, so there's curves in it, and the red looks absolutely atrocious even without the light behind it. It ended up looking more brown than anything, so I decided to redo it even though the shape was beautiful. So here's the crafting of the actual final product. So the new plan is to use a regular mold and then cut it out to form. So here you see I have a table mold meant to make uh, river tables where I'm going to pour into. And when I do that, basically the plan is to have that divide in the middle, pour the resin, take out the divide, and have the blue and red together. You should follow this man. He does sick covers. Follow him. Anime covers. Follow. And here is your demolding ASMR. I hope you enjoy. So this is a, uh, it's gorgeous color. It can't see through it. But it bends. Oh, God. This is going to be a wall hanger. Yep, wall hanger.
So here's a comparison between the old and the new. Uh, it looks much better, and it turned out that it solidified over time. I think because it was winter, it took longer. Time to do the thing I was trying to avoid doing, but that's fine. Touch my ta la la. Apparently I don't know my own strength, so, uh, my bad. Alright, so this is what we're working with after we poured the gold. Um, as you can see, it's a little messy, but the gold pour itself didn't go all the way to the top. It's there, but not all the way. And then on a removal, I broke this part here, so it doesn't have the full circle that I was wanting. So I'm going to have to remove this and replace it with something else. But hope, thankfully, I have, I'm not going to show you the table because it's a mess and it's spoilers. I have a gold piece that I poured as well and it looks pretty good. So we're probably going to take this piece and slap it in there to make the missing part there. Yeah, that. Apparently I can't shape one piece to fit into another piece, so I had to re-pour it again. That one leaked, so I had to use clamps, which saved me this time. All praise the sanding belt that made shaping and sanding a breeze. So you'll see here that I'm using a sanding belt on a, a flat plane, and it makes it really easy to just hit all the edges of the blade. I wasn't sure how well it would work, but I'm really happy with it. So much so that I went and bought a more sanding grits because I only have the one grit for now. So this was just to get some details in and get a basic uh, sanding done. <laughs> So I ended up doing more research on the turtle wax to see how I was supposed to use it and I think I understood better and it's going to show in the final product. But uh, yeah, here's me turtle waxing this, uh, this thing to finish it off, at least before I wrap the handle.
All right. So, I learned a lot making this weapon. First, that the silicone caulking method is possible, but not ideal. How to measure the right amount of pigment so that the colors actually pop through, because I had problems with the red before. That red is a super annoying color uh, that I'm not going to want to do a lot, but I bought some solutions for that. You can see it in the back right there, behind the blade right there. It's a uh, liquid pigment, so that should be much easier. And finally, that the belt sander and the glue gun are my saviors. They will make my life so much easier, and it will make something like this happen and get rid of all the scratches that I have on the back because apparently my hand sanding needs work. I bought a bunch of sanding belts to help with the um, to help with the um, sanding process so that'll be great. And to be honest I think this is a good second attempt at making a resin weapon. It's only gonna be a wall hanger because I completely butchered the back of it but even for that it looks nice when you hang it on the wall like pull that back in. Oh that's pretty nice. Not this side, but this side. And with that, I'll see you guys in two weeks. Uh, I'll be making another weapon from Pop Culture, and between then, I'll be doing resin knife streams on Twitch and possibly YouTube, so be sure to follow both of those. Be sure to like and sub, and I'll see you soon with a new weapon.